machines are going to take over. Artificial intelligence is becoming more intelligent than humans. What this means to you and how you maybe even could profit from this development, you are going to learn in this video. Although there has now been a lot of research in the last years on AI, it all started off with the development of GPT by OpenAI. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. But what does that mean actually? Let's start with the first word, generative. This means that it can generate stuff, in this case, words. So a generative AI is able to generate words or pictures. Pre-trained means that it was trained on large data sets of texts. So they basically let the AI run over the internet and memorize every text. An AI transformer is not what you think it is. It's basically a large language model that doesn't focus on single words, but rather on the context. It looks at how words are interconnected. By using those transformers, suddenly good text could be produced by artificial intelligence. To put it very simple, a GPT model is autocomplete on steroids. It simply predicts what words should come next based on every text of the internet. And this is done in seconds. That's amazing, isn't it? These models are also quite new. Open AI published GPT-1 just in 2018, and it was trained on 0.12 billion parameters. But what is a parameter? In machine learning, a parameter is a value that a computer program learns on its own during the training process to help it make predictions on new data. Think of it like a recipe for a cake. The recipe has ingredients and tasks to do. In machine learning, parameters are like the value of how much ingredients you should put into your cake. During the training process, the computer learns how many ingredients to use. So it basically learns how much sugar to put into the cake so that it tastes good. It does so by looking at examples of data and figuring out how to use the parameters to make accurate predictions. Once the program has learned the best parameters, it can be used to make predictions on new data. This is like using the same cake recipe to make another cake. You already know the right amounts of each ingredient to use. So you can make a cake that tastes just as good as the first one. So the parameters are the steroids which power the autocomplete. Simply put, the more parameters, the better the output, the better the texts. When you ask the AI to write something now, it just predicts which words would be the best in this case, based on all texts of the internet. Isn't it amazing to see how that works and how this can even produce meaningful text? You've probably heard of this first when you used ChatGPT, but there were other GPTs before that. GPT-1 was trained on 0.12 billion parameters. GPT-2 published in 2019 on 1.5 billion parameters. GPT-3 in 2020, and it already used 175 billion parameters. GPT-4 was just published in 2023. This time, they didn't say how many parameters they used. You've probably heard all of this because of ChatGPT, which was just a special use case of GPT 3.5. And this already blew probably your mind like it did with mine. But progress never stops and things are getting scary, really scary. Because now we're just entering the world of AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. Come with me if you want to live. End of March, the Twitter user Significant Gravitas tweeted the following tweet. Latest demo of AutoGPT, an open source experiment to make GPT-4 into a fully autonomous AI. You can now give the AI whatever task you like. And on April 3rd, 2023, this Twitter post was released. Let it be free. Open source baby AGI, a pared down version of the task driven autonomous agent. Three task agents, execution, creation, prioritization, work in harmony forever. What these programmers did was they combined agents, means a software which can execute, create and prioritize on its own. The user just gives an input like a goal. Create the software for me. The tool understands the words because it is built on GPT. It can then automatically create tasks for itself. It then prioritizes these tasks based on the probability to reach the goal. If it doesn't know how to fulfill a task, it simply searches the internet until it finds a solution. It can document its findings in a spreadsheet or document. It can learn from its mistakes and it never stops until it reaches its goal. 
ChatGPT still needs you to tell it what to do. It always needs your input. But AutoGPT is different. It sets its own tasks to reach a given goal and works towards them without needing you to give it instructions every time. It tries to achieve its goals without human input. This is seen by some as one of the first steps towards AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. Some call this baby AGI, others just call it AutoGPT. So now it's not just words that run on autofill, but also software and programs. Some say it can even improve its own code. Are you scared yet? Well, somebody already gave one of those agents the instruction to destroy humanity. Good idea. Chaos GPT was born. First, it discovered that nuclear weapons are a good way to destroy humanity. Then it found out that there was no direct access to those nuclear weapons. It pivoted its strategy and tries now to manipulate humanity over social media to gain more resources to eventually reach its goal to destroy humanity. Until now, it's made it good that it can only use words to reach its goals. But for how long will it stay this way? But there are also positive use cases of AutoGPT. One user used it for his podcast. So he told it to read about recent events and prepare the podcast's outline. So this is an all-in-one podcast example. With five searches and 15 web browsers, the AutoGPT research agent prepares a five-topic podcast on recent news with accurate references. Nice use case. Another user told it to develop an e-commerce business. It has decided to browse the internet for business ideas saving its findings to files for reference later on. Another user wanted to build a shoe company. So he gave AutoGPT a simple objective. Do market research for waterproof shoes. Get the five top competitors and give him a report of their pros and cons. Another user built the do anything machine. Every time you add a task, a GPT-4 agent is spawned to complete it. It already has the context it needs on you and your company and has access to your apps. It's called the Do Anything Machine. So you see, Auto GPT is really, really powerful and it's getting more powerful every day. I am a Senate. So how can you use it? How can you tap into this new powerful tool? Setting up AutoGPT is not that easy. There are certain steps to follow, which are the following. First step, you have to install Python 3.8 or later. This needs to be installed on your computer. Then you need to get OpenAI API keys. So you open up an OpenAI account, you log in, then you use this secret API key. Then you get the code. You go to GitHub and you and you can download it or open it with GitHub Desktop. Switch to the stable branch. You install the libraries. You add your API keys in the code and then you run AutoGPT. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So you see you need a little bit of knowledge there. The link for this is in the description so you can also check it out there. So you see it's possible but there is a simpler way. You can also just use this free AI tool. And this tool is called agentgpt.reworked.ai and there's somebody who has just put it into a browser and you can use it here. So you give it here a name, let's take, let's call it blockchain GPT. The goal is to create a blockchain to store all the pictures created so far because I think we're going into a world where you cannot distinguish anymore between real pictures and fake pictures. So the time is now to save all the pictures we've created so far so that in the future we can still know which picture was a real picture and which one was AI created. Otherwise in five years we will never ever know we, which picture is, was real and which one was not. Which I see as a real problem for humanity. Let's see if Agent GPT can produce something for us here. Deploy Agent. Embarking a new goal, create a blockchain to store all pictures created so far. Thinking, oh, so the current tasks are here and it adds tasks here in the middle. Research and design a secure and efficient blockchain architecture that can handle large volumes of picture data. Very nice. Develop and implement a consensus mechanism for validating and adding new picture entries to the blockchain, right? 
Integrate the blockchain with a user-friendly front-end application to allow easy access and management of the stored pictures. Awesome. So it comes up here with the tasks and is thinking here at the same time. And you see those tasks are being added all the time. So it's executing all those tasks here. What's going on? So I've just employed an agent here. <laughs> so, I mean, this is just a demo here, but you see where this is going to. We are going to be able to use those agents to, for example, create our own programs, our own software. You can come up with ideas and the software implements them immediately for us. How amazing is this? So the singularity is near. With AutoGPT, you have now agents which can learn, which can try to reach their goals and which have access to the internet. They understand the problem, they try to solve the problem and they try to find the means to solve the problem. Until now, this is just software, but imagine combining this with hardware. Imagine combining this with computer vision technology and robots. They're just two steps more and we have self-learning self-goal-oriented, self-improving, goal-driven agents which have access to the digital as well as the real world. Buckle up.